Hello everyone, this is Mike Sanghi and I am back with another Cognos Framework Manager video and in this video I am going to show how to join to database table or your queries. So let's start and right now I have I imported some database table inside Framework Manager and right now no relationship is created between any of this table. So the first thing if you want to join two things or two database table is you need to create relationship between two database table or two query subjects. Okay and uh, for this example or for this video I am going to join my product table and order detail table. So this is my order detail table and I want to join product discount table. So this is my product discount table and I am also going to add some calculated column in this okay so let's start and the calculated column I want to add is the line total for particular product and quantity I'm assuming unit price is not available in my order detail tables unit price is only available in my product tables so I want to create a calculated column on unit price from my product table and quantity from my order detail table and finally I'm going to use the third column from product discount and I'm going to use this discount to calculate the final amount and the discounted price or discounted line total for particular product line. So let's start and first we need to create relationship. For this you need to click on this icon or then you have to select product ID and product ID. So this is my product ID from product and order detail labels. Now the next thing you need to define the cardinality I am going to give it 1 is to the n and 1 is to n uh, you can leave in the comment section why I am selecting 1 is to n and 1 is to n ok validate it click on ok and our first relationship is created successfully the next thing I want to create a relationship between our products product table and product discount table for this I am Again, I'm going to click on this relationship button. I'm going to select product ID from product table and then drag and drop product discount. Yes. Now, in this time, I'm going to view the relationship is 1 is to 1 and 1 is to 1. Validate. OK. And now I'm going to create two query subject in the logic layer so first query subject I want to create a query subject query subject and I'm going to give it a name let's say q1 click on ok and inside this I want to import product ID from order details I'm going to take order ID and quantity from order details and unit price from products okay and finally I want to add a calculated column inside this so I'm going to click on add and I'm going to give a line total okay line total and I'm going to perform a multiplication on quantity and unit price that's it and it's time to test our query test sample and our query is executed successfully ok great click on ok and now I am again going to create another query subject q2 query subject q2 and click on ok and now I want to let's use all these columns and from product to or product discount table I'm going to use product discount okay then now I'm assuming the discount is only applicable to your first product so if you are going to purchase for a particular product you purchase the quantity 10 then the discount is applicable for only first for rest of the nine product the price is full okay so I'm going to add another case Calculated column and I'm going to give it final final line total. Okay. 
and for this I am going to use my line total this is my previous calculated column line total and minus I want to minus this discounted amount correct and click on ok test test your query and your query is executed successfully and if you want to perform some calculation whether your query is working fine then you have to open calculator check the quantity your quantity is 45 into your unit price is 18 your line total is at 10 and now I want to use discount so I'm going to use this value minus 3.6 okay so our query is working fine so this is the one way to perform joins and how to achieve the same thing in report studio for this I'm going to first remove all the relationship so I want diagram from diagram I don't want this anymore so delete I don't want this anymore delete and I don't want this to query subject or yeah I want to delete this so delete uh, yes okay I want to delete this and finally I want to publish my package so publish package next next publish uh, yes I want to overwrite and click on finish now we are going to open this in report studio so finally we are in report studio and we want to perform join in report studio so for this I want to first go and create two queries I want to create query 1 inside query 1 let's say I want to add order ID I want to add product, product ID I want to add quantity and finally I want to create another query and let, let me quickly rename this I am going to rename it Q. Ignore this error message. I want Q underscore order details. It's time to add another query and I'm going to rename this to Q underscore product. And finally, it's time to add another query. And in this, I want Q underscore pro. I want product discount. It is great. And now what I want, I want to add column inside my product query and what I want, I want from products, I want product ID, I want unit price okay and for my last query, I want product ID, product ID and discount okay now the last thing we need to create join so let me quickly drag and drop join and inside this I want to use my Q order details and Q product and inside join I am going to perform join on product ID and product ID so let me quickly create a link from product ID to product ID I am going to use many to many one to n and one to n click on ok and finally I am going to add another join and this time I am going to use my product discount and this newly created query and let me quickly add columns inside query 1 ok so inside query 1 I want to use order id I want to use product id I want to use I want to add few data items I want to use a new I want to add a new data item and for this data item I want quantity multiply unit price okay and I'm going to name this 
I'm going to name this that item to nine total. Okay, this is great. And I want to change the aggregate function for this on summarize total. Yes, I want total same for this total and for this too I don't want anything so I'm going to quickly none and for this none okay great for our final query I'm going to use this let me quickly create relationship I want to create a new relationship on my product ID and product ID again I'm going to use one to n one to n so let me quickly go and click on OK and inside query 2 I'm going to add now I want to add product ID order ID and I'm going to add another data item and inside this I want to use 9 total minus discount and this time we are going to use Final line total. That's it. And click on OK. And again, I want to change its type aggregated function none for all the IDs and for final line total. Final line total. The aggregate function is total and roll up again total. Okay, and it's time to see the data. So view table data, and this is our finally generated or we are successfully created joins. Okay, 806.4 our same result previous result report studio or I hope now you are able to create joins in framework manager and report studio so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe like button share your feedbacks share it with your friends and see you all in next video